Welcome back to the News at 10. The Lagos State Command of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, has paraded 23 suspects, including six Ghanaians and three Togolese, allegedly involved in bunkering of petroleum products between January and February. The suspects were arrested by the Nigerian Navy at various points on the high sea and within Lagos waters before they were handed over to the NSCDC. 378 drums, each containing 250 litres of petroleum products, were recovered during the operation. It is the Navy who really did the arrest on high sea. And these people are coming in badges and in uh, drums loaded. Some of them are so funny, they put petrol inside, I mean, what do you call it, leather bag, and then put into a, this rice kind of sack and float them on the ice. A small canoe will just be dragging there and the thing will be moving along. So that is the thing. So this one we are talking about are those handed over to us from the Navy. But the one we have really called you for again is uh, to be able to sensitize the public about the issue of our uh, Ikeja electricity distribution company. Where people just bypass meters and go to the high fence to go and connect light themselves after being disconnected for non-payment which is a economic saboteur of the federal government. Yes, For every end users you find anywhere, their laws is sponsored. So when, we, when the arm of the law we will get to the court, probably the judiciary will tell them and they will mention to them who their sponsors are, who sent them, and for how long they have been doing it. Drug traders at the Onisha market in Anambra state have been commended for, the, for voluntarily regulating themselves against importation and distribution of fake drugs. This commendation was made by the Director General of NAFDAC, Dr. Paul Rohi, during a recent destruction exercise of fake and substandard drugs and other food products worth about 5 million naira. Dr. Ohi also reiterated the agency's resolve to ensure that fake products are not reintroduced to the market. And the Kaduna State Governor Mukta Yero has flagged off the dualization of the 14 kilometer Kawo Station Command Junction Road project aimed at decongesting the heavy traffic usually experienced by motorists in the state capital. At the flag off of the project, Governor Yero again reiterated his, his administration's commitment to the infrastructural development of the state and the completion of all ongoing projects. According to the state government, the 3.6 billion naira road will be ready in five months. We are all aware of the fact that the road that cut across the center of Kaduna Metropolis from Alai Ilu to Amadi Bellaway to Junction Road and Kachia Road from Kao to Command Junction was constructed as a, dual, as a dual carriageway many years ago. As stated by the Honorable Commissioner earlier, the road has deteriorated due to aging and lack of periodic maintenance. In fact, the road does not meet up with the current level of development and increasing traffic volume within Kaduna. Therefore, it needs to be upgraded to meet the existing demands in all respects. Kaduna State Governor Mukta Yero. Looking for a diet low in fat and calories but high in fiber, then you should look more at vegetables. Now, nutritionists say vegetables are naturally healthy and contains lots of minerals and vitamins that could help the digestive system work better and of course deal with constipation. Tonight on our Focus on Health, our correspondent Yomio Taibe highlights the health benefits you can derive from eating vegetables. Vegetables that come in variations. Let's see some of them. Potatoes and yams fall under root vegetables. Tomatoes and cucumbers are some of the fruits vegetables. And when we talk about bulb vegetables, these include onions and garlic. But our focus 
is on leaf vegetables. Here at the popular Mile 12 market in Lagos, southwest Nigeria, you find all kinds of green leafy vegetables from pumpkin leaves to spinach. Now, this bunch of spinach I'm holding costs 50 naira, but it can be a lot more like this for the same price during or just after the rainy season when the yields are higher. I eat varieties of vegetables. I eat um, spinach, the one they normally call epotete in Yoruba. Then I call it ugu, the one normally taken by Ibu because it's very good for our body. I eat um, carrots, green peas. I also eat um, vegetables like um, pumpkin, called ugu in Igbo language. So how do you like to eat your vegetable raw or cooked? Cooked. There are lots of benefits because we also know that it contains vitamins and minerals. Like a vitamin C, it actually helps to in wound healing, in LD teeth and gum. Then also the minerals, we have got folate, we've got a magnesium, we've got phosphorus, we've got potassium. Potassium actually helps to lower the blood pressure. The iron helps in blood formation and in selenium and other ones too. They've got so many important parts that play in, in, in human body. Research have actually also found out that they actually also help to reduce um, certain um, same certain cancer that the formation it if you take lots of vegetables it's actually because vegetables and food have got a uh, fiber and the truth is that there's actually no side effect to eating lots of fruits and vegetables the only thing is that it actually goes a long way even to help people that actually want to watch that way so we call fruit and vegetable the weight manager but no single vegetable that's got all the nutrients so you don't take one single vegetable you actually have to combine together you can cook two or three vegetables together indeed vegetables play a vital role in human diets while eating cooked vegetables is healthy for you, in certain instances, it is advantageous to eat raw vegetables. This is because cooking destroys essential nutrients such as vitamin C and vital enzymes. It's right to say don't cook vegetables because vegetables, vitamin D, they're actually water soluble. So if you overcook, there's tendency that you, most of the nutrients will be lost during cooking. So the ideal thing is that if you can eat raw, eat raw. But at the same time, if you have to cook, fine, you cook, but it's just like you, it will be the last thing that will go into the pot of soup, like just two minutes and it's off. So it will, be still, it will still retain the green color and you enjoy it. It will be crunchy to eat, not something that is actually very tender. And there is no, there is no need per burn your vegetable before cooking. Whether it is cooked or raw, Eating a diet rich in vegetables as part of an overall healthy diet promotes good heart health and may reduce the risk for certain types of cancers. You're me or Taiwi reporting for Channels Television News. Welcome to Business News, I'm Anne Mwawadu. The interbank overnight lending rates fell from a record high of 95% last week to an average 25% on Friday after the central bank retired about 100 billion naira in the treasury bills. The federal government sold about 142 billion naira worth of treasury bills with maturities ranging between three months and one year this week. The NNPC recalled some of its deposits with banks cutting back on the level of available liquidity for transactions in the system and dealers expect an increase in cash flow into the system next week owing to possible dispersal of budgetary allocation for January to government agencies. Well, the Kaduna state government is financing agriculture in the state to the tune of 1 billion naira to boost agriculture and also food security. According to the state governor, Mukhtar Yero, this initiative is in partnership with the Bank of Agriculture and those to benefit as small-scale farmers in the state. While presenting checks to the beneficiaries, Governor Yero promised that his government will continue to invest in agriculture to eliminate poverty and also reduce unemployment in the state. The agricultural loan scheme has a, com has a convenient means of raising funds to finance agriculture and agro-allied businesses in view of the attractive interest rate chargeable, which is only 5%. 
very short period of loan processing and disbursement. We will continue to invest in agriculture so that we can take away the teaming unemployed youth and women that we have so that they can be useful to themselves. Kaduna State Governor Mukhtar Yero. Meanwhile, it was a bullish week at the Nigeria equities market as the All Share Index sustained a positive momentum throughout the trading session. And the Keybroad Index ended the week 6.52% higher at 29,383.93 with a market capitalization of 9.80 trillion naira. Market breadth was positive as 40 gainers outweighed 26 losers. And the top three gainers for the week were Guarantee Trust Bank, Okomo Oil and FBN Holdings. On the laggards table, UAC Property took the lead followed by Champion Breweries and also Julius Berger. In all, a total volume of 2.083 worth of 22.47 billion naira were traded in 20,805 deals. Well, Greece, in a last-minute effort to meet the conditions for its loan extension from creditors, has warned that real economic difficulties lie ahead. And the government of Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras faces a Monday deadline to submit a list of reforms to lenders. Under a deal agreed on Friday, the list must be approved by the international creditors in order for Greece to secure a four-month extension of its bailout. And the Greek cabinet is discussing the potential list of the reforms which must be approved before Eurozone members ratify the bailout extension that's on Tuesday. And analysts say a collapse of the deal would revive fears of Greece's exit from the euro. Well, that's it on Business News. It's back to you, Harriet. Well, next on the news at 10, after months of negotiations, Floyd Mayweather confirms long-awaited $200 million fight with Manny Pacquiao. That's on Sports News. Please join us again.